Friends, well, one of the things with this YouTube channel is I get asked a lot of questions. And uh, I get a lot, asked a lot of great questions. Today I got asked a really cool question. So, let's take a look, shall we? Mr. Anthony Smith asked me a great question. I have a question for the narrator, meaning me. As a guitarist out of, out of the top 100, where would you rate Prince? Plus, love your channel. Thank you so much, Anthony Smith. I loved your question so much, I'm going to do a video. So we're going to do something a little different. So what I did was I went on to Rolling Stone, uh, their website, and I found this list of the 100 greatest guitar players, okay? Uh, and Prince, already, he's at number 33. So I can't believe I'm doing this because no matter what, you can't keep everyone happy. But for you guys, to show how much I love you guys and I appreciate you guys, I'm going to do this. I'm going to lay it on the line. I'm going to lay myself on the line, put myself in harm's way, so to speak, for you guys. 33. He is at 33. Now, I'm not really sure what this is based on. There's a number of people that voted for this. Uh, now, to keep in mind, folks, John McLaughlin... Uh, who I would personally consider to be the greatest guitar player of all time, is uh, number 68. So I don't know if this is strictly for guitar playing or guitar composition, stage presence while playing guitar. I would never argue with anyone that all around, Prince is the man. Okay, And he's a great guitar player. So we're going to go from 33 on and see what the scoop is. Now, some of you aren't going to agree with me. So we start at 33. That's a pretty good placing. Okay. Now, 32, Billy Gibbons, another legendary guitar player. Okay. Ry Cooter, another legendary guitar player, slide player. If you ever watched the movie Crossroads, uh, the parts where... Uh, Ralph Macchio was playing with the slide that was actually Ry Cooter. Okay. Elmore James, another uh, you know legend on the guitar. Scotty Moore, he was Elvis Presley's guitar player. Um, I personally would put Prince ahead of that for sure. Um, Johnny Ramone. All due respect to the Ramones. Um, I don't. Again, what's this based on? Like, technically, you can't compare the two of them on the guitar. All due respect. So, definitely, I would have already bumped uh, Prince up for sure, for sure, up to 31. Okay, so we're at 31. Bo Diddley. Personally, I would, you know, another great legend, and it's only my opinion, but I would put Prince ahead of him. Brian May. <laughs> Do I need... <laughs> what are you doing to me here, Antonio? Come on now. Um, Brian May is a legend. A great songwriter. Um, oh, man. I, I would put Prince ahead of him. So now we're at number 30. Tony Iommi. Oh, my God. You guys are killing me. Oh, man. Tony Iommi. He's a legend with Black Sabbath. He's influenced so many guitar players. He's like the king of metal. Angus Young. Um Is this strictly from a technical perspective, or what's the deal? Um, my personal opinion is, a, is that I would put Prince ahead of him. I know that's not going to sit well with a lot of you out there. It, this is my hey, this is my personal opinion. We're, we're just having dialogue here, okay? So we're at 29. Buddy Guy, another very famous uh, legend. Uh, Frank Zappa, again. Uh, I would put Prince ahead of him. I think we're down to about 28 or so. The great Chet Atkins. Ooh. Carlos Santana. Ooh. James Burton. Great guitar player. Les Paul. Okay, so we got Neil Young here. Now, I have a lot of respect for Neil Young. Uh, from a song, especially from a songwriting perspective. But what is this based on? Like, there's no way, I, it's, I just don't think you can compare Neil Young to Prince as a guitar player, okay? So we're getting down to the mid-20s here, mid-20s, so. Um, Derek Trucks is a phenom 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 phenomenal uh, slide player. Phenom, 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 phenomenal uh, 
Rock slide player. Amazing guitar player. Um, that one's, ugh. Freddie King, again, we have another blues legend. David Gilmore from Pink Floyd. This is heavy, heavy company, folks. Albert King. Hmm. Number 12, SRV. George Harrison. Okay, but again, what is this based on, right? Uh, popularity, record sales, you know. Uh, you know, he, George Harrison could play lead. I don't, I wouldn't put him on the same level as Prince, but he was a member of the Beatles, right? Like, what are we dealing with here? Uh, Pete Townsend. Um, influenced a lot of people. Uh, I, I would put Prince ahead of him. Okay, that's just me. Oh, Dwayne Allman, that's tough. Mm, he's number nine. Uh, Eddie Van Halen. Chuck Berry. Mm, I, <laughs> I'm going to get killed here. I would put Prince ahead of Chuck Berry. Uh, B.B. King's amazing. I would still probably put Prince ahead of that, but... Oh, man, I'm going to get Jeff back. Oh, my God, that's tough. Keith Richards. Again, is this based on popularity? Like, Prince was super popular, but, like, from a technical perspective, I don't think you can really compare them. Uh, I would definitely put Prince ahead of him. Jimmy Page. Uh, if I say anything, I'll get shot. Eric Clapton. Who's better, Prince or Eric Clapton? Prince. Fucking Eric A. Clapton's most overrated <laughs> fucking guitar player on the planet. <sighs> Jimi Hendrix. Okay, so Antonio, I'm going to answer your question here. Um, sorry, Anthony, I apologize. Um, I would put Prince definitely in the top 15. I would put him higher than 33. The, this, the, you know, it, it's one of these things because really and truly music shouldn't be a competition. And it's all kind of from what your perspective is. You might like a guitar player. You might like some songs and I don't, <laughs> you know, like, but uh, I definitely would put him higher than 33 for sure. I would put him definitely in the top 15. Uh, there are some guitar players that, should be in here, guitar players that you've never heard of. Uh, Yngwie Malmsteen should be in the top 100. Another legend who is probably one of the greatest technical players of all time, his name was um, Sean Lane. Uh, he's not in the top 100. Uh, and also Alan Holdsworth. I don't remember. I don't think I saw. Maybe I, maybe he was in the later later ones. But uh, definitely, I would put Prince in the top fifteen. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of that? What's your opinions? Again, we're just having dialogue. We're talking. Uh, definitely top fifteen for me. Okay, I don't know exactly where I would place him in the top fifteen, but I would put him in the top fifteen. Uh, he had the chops, he had the composition skills, he had the great guitar tone, he had the stage moves, he had the stage presence, and he was popular. He had hit songs, so, I don't know, where would you guys put him? Comment below, keep the suggestions coming, and remember, practice hard, but practice smart, and we'll see you soon.